Yeah. Hey everybody, it's the program. We're on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines. Start talking. Talkity talk talk viewers. It's Monday, and we're back here for another day. It's Tuesday. It's hard to read. Sometimes reading is hard. You know how many times I've read things? Mm, thousands, probably. How many times have you read things? How many things did you read today, and how many things count as things? Like, individual things? Uh, like, what if you read a sentence? Is that, like, several things? Because there's so many... So much text all around you. And there it is on the screen. Maybe we'll say goodbye to it. Like, even if there's no text on the screen directly in front of you, you're probably looking at letters. Or you're at least hearing these words that I'm saying. Uh, and I'm going to have to, like, escape from text and, and words maybe for a while. 23 hours. Uh, when was the last time you went? Like, how long did you go without words? And maybe it'd be nice to go some distance without words. And I realize now that I'm saying them, so I mean, they, maybe they're all in the thing. But you know, when you look around and you see words all the time, and then they they say things to you, it's almost the same thing as language. At least in spoken language, when you hear the words and they mean things to you, it's. It's, I guess it's just sounds. You're hearing these sounds and they mean things to you and it's just like the words. When you look at the words and they say things to you, it's like, I'm telling you about my contents or whatever it is that these words are doing. I mean, what else is the words other than the contents? I'm looking around, everything, every word I see is just explaining the contents unless it's in a, I guess, a book, anything out that's out anything out that that it's just in a box or something it's only going to tell you what it is except for that there's some informational words i see over there it says start the timer and uh yeah, i see some other informational words up there i see a letter i think it's a cease and desist letter about when we uh weren't supposed to um have a radio transmitter we had a radio transmitter going for a while and they didn't like it, the FCC. So we turned that off for a while because uh, it was the letter. So there's that letter. It's got more words in it than just the ones that are labeled. But I'm going to go some time and not read things. So I'm not reading words this uh, week. It's like they got me. The school school got me now I read things now they trick me into thinking that when I see symbols that they mean like ideas and they don't schools I can't stop thinking it I mean of course it's helpful to read but maybe it's all just assimilating what if I was a wolf person not like a werewolf but a wolf person who, you know, didn't get raised in society and we were just running around the woods eating poison berries and having, getting, and dying. That's probably all I would do if I lived in the woods. How long would I live in the woods before eating poisonous things? Because I like to eat a lot of things and then sometimes, you know, overeat. Hey, where are you going to get salt? No salt. There's no salt in the... Uh, uh, in the woods. Except for, the, I guess, blood or something. But that's not that salty compared to the water content. You're not going to get straight up salt unless maybe from the sea... Get some sea salt. I think that's where salt comes from anyway. Comes from the sea. You want some salt? Go get some from the sea. 
Where's all that salt coming from? It's probably everywhere. Salt water. You ever put salt in your water? You ever try to make sea salt? I wonder how much salt it takes, how much sea it takes to make sea salt. Because salt's pretty cheap at the store. If you go to buy salt, it's only maybe a dollar. You can buy, I think they sell salt at the dollar store. You can buy a large thing of salt. It's iodized salt. I don't know how much iodine is in the salt though, but probably very, very little. Uh, is it crystal? Crystal iodine too? How does iodine get into the salt? Maybe they like mix it up and then the whole salt crystal is in the, uh, in the thing and then it's just like infused in there so it's not totally salt. It's not just sodium. It's like sodium iodine. So sodium by iodine. I don't think iodine's a element either. But salt is it's sodium. But what about iodine? It's probably got several things in it. They put it into salt. They put the iodine into salt and I think that it probably turns into a crystal. They crystallize iodine, put it in the salt. Because otherwise you wouldn't eat it. But what food is it in? If we need it so much, then it's got to come from somewhere. Is it in shrimp or something? You eat too much shrimp? Is iodine in the shrimp? That's the stuff that they put in there, right? It's like iodized salt. If salt has been iodized, because you need more iodine. Iodine is used for other things too. I don't remember what else it's for other than just that you need a little bit of it to survive. Let's eat a little bit of shrimp. If the shrimp's gonna give you, uh, what, gout from iodine? Or that's from salt anyway. But I don't know how much, I don't think there's too much iodine in salt. If, just from the sea. If you just go to the sea and get like a, a gallon of sea water and then you dry it out, how much salt are you gonna get? How much iodine are you gonna get? The shrimps have iodine and they're in the sea. But where is all that iodine coming from in the sea? Just like from the sea? Maybe they're, you know, taking just like algae and oxygen and and taking and putting it together. Taking some things and using their, their using their uh, their guts probably. Pooping out iodine into the sea. And then you get it in the salt, but they have to add it to it. They, it doesn't come in all of the salt. You have to get that iodine salt. And I guess why not? You gonna get this regular salt, or do you want the iodine salt? Cause I bet iodine tastes kind of weird too. I don't know how good iodine can taste. Probably doesn't taste just like salt, but it's only two percent. So maybe you can't taste it. But what if you just eat all that salt all the time and you get enough iodine forever? Like how much iodine do you get? You only need a little bit. Too much is easy to have. Cause they they put it in the salt for some reason for health. I heard that it was for health, and then they put it in the salt, and you get healthy from it. If you don't eat the iodine, you're not gonna be healthy enough. Let's take a look at these messages. Who is it? Who's on the messages? Dan Dobler? Call all the Doblers. Hey, Dr. Kenny. This is Dan. Everyone's calming down a little bit. Call me back. Goodbye. Hi, Dr. Kenny. Good. I'm glad I can help with medicine. That's what I'm good at. Prescribing.
call him back and say, hey, Dan. It's the program. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please, try your call again later. Goodbye. Bye. Look at the dead spider. It's over there. Hey, dead spider. How are you today? Is it, uh, uh, uh you feeling any better? Because you look... Like death uh, itself. You were alive, maybe probably not that long. You've probably been there dead longer than any spider would ever be alive because spiders don't live that long. I think because bugs don't live very long. They're small, they're only bugs. How long do they live? Usually a week? I know flies only live for a week. What about spiders? How long do spiders live? Probably, I'm gonna guess a week, only one week, maybe two weeks. How many flies could they have even possibly catch in their lifetime? They just know, they just know what to do. So I'm pretty sure that spiders live maybe a little, two weeks maximum, really. Who knows about spiders and how long they live? But, I. Uh, I think it's safe to say, hey, though, I can't come to the phone right, right now, but if you but leave me a nice message, message I'll, I'll get back to you back as soon as I can. As I can. Thanks a lot. Up. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. You have any feelings about iodized salt? How much iodine is in salt normally, and they add salt, iodine to salt to keep you healthy because otherwise you'll never eat iodine and you won't be healthy uh, how much you think is in there how much salt would it take to get like a good amount of salt from the ocean like if you were to go to the ocean you get a bucket of salt and you start drying it out and then how much salt do you get maybe if you're stuck on the island and you're trying to do like the Getting the fresh water out of the salt water with the uh, the thing with the with the the sun. How much would you get? Uh, how long do spiders live? You think that spiders live for a week or like two weeks? I'm thinking two weeks to maximum. I'm thinking one to two weeks. I don't know how long flies live. They only live a week. Flies or days. Maybe flies only days. Is that including their maggot stage? They get to turn into flies from maggots. I wonder if they remember. You think flies remember being maggots? And then they're, when they're, you know, maybe butterflies, the caterpillars is more apt, but of a, a subject because people say people are always talking about butterflies and caterpillars and like look at the beautiful butterfly emerge from the caterpillar the lowly caterpillar but what about like flies and maggots and maggots are like maybe you know I mean they eat dead things so they're scary and they're rotten stink and disease that's what flies are to people but their metamorphosis is still just as amazing as a butterfly. Um, and do they remember though, or is like every time that the fly, the maggots turning into the fly that they're dying anyway? The maggots are like dying and becoming a new, uh, becoming a fly. They get pretty like probably mushed up in there. I don't know too much about that stuff. I don't know who knows about animals. We need to get a zoologist. 
We have Cedar, who is the botanist. And I guess, you know, Dan says, thinks he's a scientist. Dan uh, Bennett, we we'll called Dan Bennett, asked him about some, about how long things live. Dan, how long do things live? Like maggots and spiders. But do they remember? Goodbye. Uh, who's a scientist out there who can tell me about maggot memory? See, this, you know, when the, if you, like, you gotta, like, uh, traumatize the, the maggot, you know, like, spray it with blueberry smell, and then you shock it. Give it a little shock. And then don't like it. But Fi's already scared of everything though, so we're gonna spray that blueberry smell and be like, they are afraid of it. They're afraid. We'll spray your poop smell and they wanna go towards it and then you spray the blueberry smell and see if it can get them to be deterred. It's like the blueberry smell, they remembered things. From being a maggot to being a, a fly, how is their memory? The caterpillars remember being yeah, the butterflies remember being caterpillars. Do you remember being uh, uh, caterpillar viewers? Butterfly viewers out there? Any butterflies watching the program? That'd be weird. I don't know if they can watch. I don't think they can understand, at least. And the dogs and cats, they watch TV sometimes these days. They used to not be able to watch TV because of the frame rate. And now that we have these new TVs that dogs and cats, they can watch TV. But do they remember? Do they remember being babies? I guess it's like, what's memory to animals anyway, really? But the whole mega fly thing, that's the real memory. They're not, like, animals aren't trying to remember things on purpose, so they're not, like, assigning, like, days to the memories. And each day, then they move forward, they get to somewhat forget about the past. They remember things. They know tricks and stuff, and animals, they have memories, and they can remember the past. But they don't remember how far back into the past and like which ones they are. So we're trying to like stack our memories up like one by one and see if we can like go and live our life like as in a chronological line looking back and seeing all the things that we've done starting from now. And we can um, move back every, you know, couple of hours. Can you remember all the hours of your life? Now you start thinking. Think about where you're at right now. And then you move back an hour and you're trying to examine your whole life this way this is how your memories are it's like do you remember this hour and then the hour before that and then keep going how many times can you go back and then there's a time probably when you're about to go to sleep and you don't remember that time the sleep the between the sleep time and your memories it's like every time you go to sleep and you wake up and you're dead and your new day the world is back you know that's the 24 hour kind of thing it's every time you wake up again so I can document all these lives here because of all the ghosts, all the ghosts in the past. Maybe we should take a look at them. They're back there, the ghosts, and they live in, in the tapes now after 24 hours. Maybe you can kind of create a new ghost. See, I'm getting these ghosts up onto, on, you know, on their feet a little bit and onto the walls. Huh, Spider, what do you think about the, this whole ghost thing? Getting our ghosts back up on our feet. Don't want to fall down. It's possible. Okay, let's take a look at Hank. Hank, what are you doing today? It's Christmas. Hank, it's Christmas. Uh-oh. Hank, where are you? Is this the end? It might be the end of t the tape. Hank is over. Hank's first year. Is it time for a new Mr. Catherine tape? Well, this is the last part of the, of the Hank tape on Christmas. Well, we got some last year and they've never been sharpened. Did Robbie and Donna purchase these? Oh, Hank. Happy birthday and Merry Christmas. Right. I got 
Number two. Bye, Hank. Now I want to find the, uh, um... Oh, I'm f frozen. Oh, what the? That was weird. Um... Find the rest of those Mr. Catherine tapes. I don't know which box they're in. Because I think Hank is over and we, they have this Mr. Catherine spot now. Oh no, there's so many boxes. Which one? This is not the right box. Where's the Mr. Catherine box? Are we, are we done? And I know that one of these days we're going to run out of Mr. Catherine tapes and I think it might be the day. I think the Mr. Catherine box is over here behind the uh, behind this thing. Oh, this is TV. Do we look at China, 2001? Mongolia, we're looking at Mongolia, right? What about China? Westport, 1965. Um, this tape says Westport 1965 we've had these for a while alright Hank I think you're done how long have we been on Hank for a while check this last message and then we'll look at uh, 1965 unless we already did well 1965 you were very blue oh I don't know what this one is. Oh, this is some films. Um, let's uh, listen to this message. This is somebody's home movies that got uh, that got a uh, videotaped. With no sound. Video cameras didn't have sound back then. You have got to be motherfucking shitting me. Who why? What in the fuck just happened? I don't know. What are you talking about? What the fuck? That was so fucked. What? I just sat there for goddamn hour and a goddamn half listening to this fucking insane, fucking whacked out fucking cornhole music through the organ department of uh, whatever, fucking whatever. Uh, what? Healthcare. What the hell? An hour and a half or something, well, maybe longer. I can't even remember anymore. I don't know what you're um, talking about. I was on the phone with the chick. She's doing my shit. She's fucking saying this stuff and that stuff, and I'm like, okay, okay, whatever, and then all of a sudden, my fucking alarm goes off on my fucking phone, and so to stop, and so to stop what, we didn't get to hear the rest of that message, Mr. Ginsu only left one, and then didn't say anything else after it. I never really quite grasped what Mr. Ginsu was saying. You have got to be motherfucking shitting me. I got that part. What in the fuck just happened? <laughs> okay, I don't know.
What the fuck? That was so fuck. Questions, vague statements. I just sat there for goddamn hour and a goddamn half uh -huh. listening to this fucking insane, fucking whacked out, fucking cornhole music through the organ department of uh, whatever, fucking whatever. Okay, extremely vague, Don't more. Care. Extremely vague stuff. What the hell? An hour and a half. Or something, maybe longer. I can't even remember anymore. Uh huh. Extremely um, vague. Vagueness. I was on the phone with the chick. What chick? She's doing my shit. What? <laughs> She's fucking saying this stuff and that stuff, and I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. And then all of a sudden, my fucking alarm goes off <laughs> on my fucking phone. Uh huh. And so to stop. Wow, you know, it's. I don't know how how long is this message. It's like a minute, and maybe I've done more than minutes. But I think that I'm at least completing sentences and saying specific things because I think Mr. Ginsey just left a message without like saying any actual information, like just very very vague things in questions. Like I can't believe it. What just happened? What just happened? I was, yeah, I can't, I can't even know. I don't even know what he was saying. Oh, it's 1961. This is before radio cameras. This is how they got the thing. Jump off the high dive. Oh, scary. Oh, oh, is this Catherine? Uh, where do they have a high dive? I'm going. They had one out there in Lacey. Uh, when I was, uh, a child. Remember this uh, high dive? Now the high dive is gone. I don't know where you can go to one anymore. That's the regular dive. Um, diving boards. Yeah, I don't know if this stuff is, is Mr. Catherine stuff too. I'm looking at the... Uh... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Is this the Skagit tour? This is the original and it's two hours long and I'm looking at this. How to adjust the tracking on your VCR. It's some stuff is severely overexposed. Frame jump due to film damage. Yeah, oh, this stuff was in from Tacoma, or this place is in Tacoma, the, the, uh, thing, what's it called, the, the transfer house. So, maybe, Mr. Catherine's a local. Looked like a Hank. Hank's home looked like it could have been around here in 1993. Didn't look too far off from my house, but maybe everything's the same. This definitely looks like a Washington to me. Even you can tell, even though it's from the uh, 50 years ago, 1964 maybe. Nineteen sixty four with the train tracks it's fifty years ago before they had a uh, tape. Alright, let's uh take a look at the past. No, no, I mean that's the past, that's way the way past, but let's look at our past. What was gonna Oh like no much ghosts and stuff? This tape has no label. Uh, I better put a label on it. I'm gonna find that uh, tape. Here it is. Here's the tape. And where's the, oh, there's a pen. All I have is metal pens. I'm gonna find a regular pen, but until that time, here, get out the messages to the future. Take a look at a few of these. Maybe a week's worth today.
gonna queue it up. I'm queuing up this tape, and then we're gonna see the next one. It's Papusa Day. Remember this day? And say thanks to the viewers. Thank you. Uh, here we go. Let's look at this. Alright, we're gonna record this and it's a message to the future and say like this. Hey future, it's us of the past. There's the dead spider, and here we are on Tuesday. Every day when you go to sleep and you wake up, you're kind of a ghost again. How much iodine uh, is in the sea and how much salt does it take to take from the sea and make it into a thing? Um, how long did spiders live? Bye! How long do spiders live? Alright, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's take a look at what, two weeks? Two weeks. This is Tuesday today. I'm gonna get two weeks in the past. Every day. Uh, that's today. Monday, yesterday. Sunday. We're gonna look at two weeks. Uh, Saturday. Dead spider. Friday, Thursday, and then Wednesday. How far back we're we gonna go? Wednesday, Tuesday. This is one week. We're gonna go one more week. This is Monday, Sunday, uh, Saturday. And then Friday. Oh yeah, with the the TCTV. Saturday. Oh, that's, that's Thursday. This is Wednesday. So this should be Tuesday right here. Another Tuesday. It is feeling real. I didn't even think about it today. Bye. Bye. Hey, future. It's us. The past. Hey, past. You say something to the future. All right, thanks, future. Bye. My pleasure. It's Dead Spider Day 5. We made it through Scary Month alive again. Who knows? You can keep doing Scary Month? Yes. I don't know. I think maybe. Bye. Bye. It's us, the past. Oh, it's it. better now? Mm hmm. How about now? Like yeah. This? Hi, I'm the spider over here. Um, I'm going to be talking to, to things and maybe the spider. That's my. That's what you call me over here. Ten fingers, day before we go to CTV. That spider's still there. Bye, day four. Thursday. Hey, future. Hey, future. It's hey. The past. Oh, hey, past. How are you? It's we're at TCTV. Take the thing down. Got a simulation. Oh yeah. yeah. Welcome to the future, and I hope you brought a rowboat. What do you have to say to the future, Dan? What? <laughs> All right. Thanks, future. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah. We're Future, it's us, the past. We're back at the studio again. Dead Spider up there for one week. Well, last Saturday was the last time it was there, and it's Saturday back around again. Thanks for being there, Spider. He's his exoskeleton. His flesh has gone out, and he's only has no eyes anymore. Okay, bye, Future. The past. Look, Dead Spider's been there for more than a week now. This is the 
a long for time for it, that spider. It's maybe after feeding slowly, it's Sunday. Is it longer than it was in the past couple of days? I did a, a comparison. Yes. I don't think it is. Daylight yeah, saving time happened. It's horrible. Bye. Bye. Hey, future. In the future. Yeah. Good luck in the future. Thank you, Once Mr. Ginsu. You're getting No, talking to yourself. It's uh, Monday. Bye, future. The past. We're alive, and it's the spider is dead. Still. Yeah. Holy good. Weeks. It's Tuesday. Remember the the realness talk. Yeah. I did it again. Thank you. Sure, it's us. The past. Oh, hey, past. The dead spider is still there. Yeah. And we're still here. Hey. It's Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, Marilyn's getting excited about TV. Me too. Too excited, maybe. Oh. Tranquilizer level excitement. Okay. But, oh, getting a call. Or no, I'm calling Freddy. Hung it up. Okay, bye. Bye. Over here, dead spider is still there too. It's Thursday. You see the election? I guess it happened. Cause uh, number. Bye. Bye. Ah, uh, hi. How are you? Real good. Look, there's me again down there. But where's the spider? It's down there. It's alive, or I mean, not alive, but it exists still. It hasn't fallen down. Yeah. Um. Eee. Eee. Bye. Bye. Last. Uh, it's Saturday. Dead spider's over there still. Yellow fellow went running in the zoo. And uh, I have all my fingers. I did spider. Are you curled up more than before? It's hard to tell. Bye. Bye. Hey, future, it's up. You're just like Donald Trump. It's all lies. Say something to the future. Anything plays Donald Trump. He says everything's all lies. It's lies. Bye. 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 We'll be able to talk to you in the fucking understanding that not everything is a fucking lie. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Look at that dead spider, it's still there. And we're still here. It is uh, Monday. Monday. And it's Papusa Day. Remember this day? Mm. It's they think to Yesterday. Years. Sometimes it happens that way. We're looking at July a little bit. Yeah. August. And now we're here. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You made it. You made it to there, and here is today. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Oh, hey, past. There's the dead spider, and here we are on Tuesday. Tuesday. Every day when you go to sleep and you wake up, you're kind of a ghost again. How oh, much yeah. iodine uh, is in the sea, and how much salt does it take to take from the sea and make it into a thing? Loads. Um, how long did spiders live? Bye. Bye. How long do spiders live? How long are you gonna live, dead spider? How long do dead spiders live? For months? It's been at least weeks. How many weeks? I didn't count the thing. Was it there two weeks ago? The first one that we looked at today, was it there? Not sure. I wonder where the book is. I'm going to have to get a new book. Maybe it's time for a new book. Okay. Oh, I never did label that tape. I should have been labeling it while uh, we we're looking at Messages to the past, but how many things can I do at the same time? I want enough.
This is 2016. What day is today? Oh yeah, it's all it's all crazy, so we don't know what day is what now because like one of those days was skipped. See, that's like when was the last time there was a Friday? That's how we can or no, I don't know if that's gonna know. Uh, we talked to the old fellow. Hi, you old fellow. We get a call from a Russian guy today. I don't know how to know. Russia. Carl likes Trump. Well, hey, might as well like him. Yeah. He's not going anywhere for four years. We're on four years, baby. Four years. All the way. Four oh, years. I'm labeling this tape. We're the media. Become the media. We are the media. You can become the media too if you call the number. Bye. Become the media. Good night. Good night, Mr. Ginsu. Steve won the dice game. Yellow fellow is trying to get a job at the place. He said if call him back tomorrow if he doesn't get the job that we're gonna be mad at him. Carl's missing birds here. Born every night at 11 30 German teach you phone 22 360 or 364384. Too many donuts. Oh, too many donuts. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Don't get excited. It never happened. Carl's alive. Well, and you're back. No, this is my front. Ah! I thought you were dead. I'm, I'm, I'm alive. Uh, we got the oh, yellow plus. I told me. 1 30 at 2 a.m. There's no help for you. Uh, God. <laughs> Call in, leave a message, get on TV. Okay. Yeah. The ground. Oh yeah, what day is it? Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Gintz is rude. Oh, okay, this is Thanksgiving. So, is Thanksgiving on the 17th of 2016? I don't know how we're going to tell. What day is today? It's supposed to be... 14th. It's all, we're all mixed up now. At least the past is. Like which part of the past is the correct part? Because I'm pretty sure one of those things had two days. And that's not right. Hey, hey, there's me. Oh, and some blackness. Expanding into nothingness. You. What's over there? Oh, it's the edge of the screen. Because it's moved over. The edge of the screen was moved around. Alright. I'll tell you about what we do here and do all this tape stuff, and then maybe we'll take a look at some look at more. a little bit more of the 60s. Alright, listen to some archival Mr. Ginsey messages. Mr. Ginsu, what do you have to say years ago? Yeah. 
You know what you're watching? It's White HWM, and we're on every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TCV Channel 22. We're also on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, we're probably from yesterday. If you're watching this on TCV TV, we tape on the same day of the week of the previous week, so if you can call the number up there and get on TV and we'll call you back. We're not live. Maybe we should go live, though. Maybe soon we'll be live, like audio streaming live. And you can call the thing. It'll be a good time. Today we're like uh, taping this thing, and tomorrow maybe we're gonna be like somewhere else. Today, here, tomorrow, the world. Uh, you can call the number, and then you leave a message, and we'll call you back. We started on September 19th, 2010. We've been taping the show every day for about seven. Eight years now. How many hours is that? 2,614, I think. Hey, 2,614, I was right. Thank you. kind of salt I have at home is that the iodized kind of the regular kind. Maybe we should start putting yesterday's episode in the yesterday's episode spot. This is Saturday. Whoa, whoa, whoa yesterday though. What the heck? So oh, that's that's from September. This is yesterday. This is yesterday. So what were we doing yesterday? Looking at the past, looking at September. What is it? Oh, Hank's birthday. Happy birthday, Hank. Oh, Merry Christmas. Hank, keep that out of your mouth. Who knows where that's been? Yeah, Hank. Remember Hank? Remember when we were looking at Hank? You don't even know. This is about the taste about to end. Yesterday. When it ends, it's gonna be you have to move on to the to the 1960s. Catherine, what's in the box? It's a knife set. Who put up that guy? It's a knife set. Knife set. Oh, I like a knife set. Now you can cut things, Catherine. Never needs sharpening. Only rarely does it need sharpening. All right, Merry Christmas, Hank. Merry Christmas, Dead Spider. Merry Christmas, viewers. Oh yeah, I thought we were looking at See, the, the show when they have a few minutes left messages today. for a minute. Remember when we looked at the past, looked way into the past at Hank's past. I remember we looked at our past. Well, we got we heard some Mr. Ginsu messages. We talked to Dan Dobler for a minute. He mm -hmm. said he might be getting married to Marilyn. Monroe. Oh yeah, Marilyn Monroe, huh? Um, let's listen to a couple of these archival Mr. Ginsu messages. How many of these do we have? There's still like a ton, a ton, a ton of them. Oh, this is a, here's one from Dan Dobler from a long time ago. Dan Dobler, what were you saying way back here? Hi, Timmy. This is Dan Dobler. This is Dan. Uh, uh, how you doing? Real good. Uh, I, I'm calling from Jack in the Box. I'm cool. Be Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. Uh, and uh, I, I watched the show last night. I watched the show. Good. Uh, it, it's too bad that uh, they, they uh, didn't have the person to rope it on. The person to rope it, they, they cut it. But 
It was a good show, though. It was a good show. Uh, you can call me back. Bye. What did they cut? Dan's voice got high, higher pitched. He talked to the boss. Uh, and uh, I, I watched the show last night. I watched the show. Uh, it, it's too bad that uh, they, they uh, didn't have the book they were working on. The plane to work that day. They cut it. But it was a good show, though. It was a good show. Uh, you can call me back. Bye. What? I don't know what he said, but Dan's voice sounds different than it does now. Maybe it's because of the um, pass. I don't know. Time is from the recording. Who knows? Really. Hey there. Fuck chat. What do you think is going down? I heard. I uh, just wondering what you doing. But what are we gonna do? Maybe eat some food? Hey, man, it's yeah. fucking on. Fuck it, fucking Sunday still. That fucking sucks. You like Sunday? Live a little. Live a little. Live a lot. Live a lot. Live a lot. Fucking week. A lot. Remember what she had? Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Fucking weird. Ration. Fuck. That's weird. Fuck weird. No Sundays, huh? What the hell? Who's out with you on the couch? Myself. I don't know. Fucking, I can't hear you. I can, don't have to answer that fucking question. But I'll be able to see it when I watch it, motherfucker. Uh huh. That's right. I'll be able to see it when I watch it. So, I got cut off from my last message. Uh oh. The one where I told you we found water on Mars. So, I just thought I'd tell you early before the news tells everyone that they found water on Mars. So, you heard it here first. Just wow. remember that. You heard it here first. Water on Mars. Are you here to hear first, viewers? You ever heard about water on Mars before? We're the the first ones to say that. Here's another one. What? Don't make me come down there and kick you in your cut. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was his whole message. Here's the next one, another message. How many of them are there? This many. Several. Don't make me come down there and scoop out your neocortex. Whoa! Ha ha ha! Series, huh? As you can see, he's got a series of these things. That was that was fun. See, see, yeah, if you know, have one really crass message, and your next one is, you know, it changes the past. Sometimes you can change the past. Context. You can text contextualize the past. You call me, wake me up, and tell me it's not there and over. Okay, call Dan, but call again. Mr. Ginsu, you're sleeping right now. It's about to the end of the show. We have a few minutes left today. Okay, bye. What were we doing last year or yesterday? Saturday. Which one? The last day of July. Oh, yeah. It was I don't think a whole. Is it July 31st. Seven days. Remember July? July. Yeah, and here's the calendar. Jeremy a bit. What was the summer? Nope.
July. Yep, there is a July 31st. Okay, bye. July 31st. July 31st. Here we got noodles. Hey. Here comes Jeremy. Um, ready to turn in 20, like four things or something. Oh, this place is Thurston County Fair. Lots of things. Thurston County Fair. It's very hot today, but it's only uh, mm, yeah, it's going to be way August. hotter. It's so getting hotter. If you're watching this time. probably through these days. It's going to be getting hotter and hotter, as you can see. <laughs> uh, if you're watching this in a few days and you're watching all of these all week, uh, all week. Remember that. Yeah. All, all day. Hot. Stay hydrated. There's Jeremy. There's, there well, he is. We're looking at, oh. uh, things pass a little bit. by. He can disappear. This should be like, oh, look at the past. Lots of remember. levels of this. I mean, this it could going. be like any other Sunday. It's the first oh, day yeah, of August. I got my, my Sunday out. Hot, hotter and hotter. And hotter. <laughs> now you're a ghost. Thank ghost. you for being you and alive. Yeah, we'll see through you. Thank you for being you. My pleasure. Two messages. Did you listen to them in this time that you spent between the things? Uh, remember how you were uh, happy? How many levels are we looking at right now? <laughs> uh, another <laughs> one. Nope. 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 Maybe we should though. We got a message though. It's from yeah. uh, Dan Dobler. Dan Dobler, what do you have to say? Look at the bag has I been moving. Even. Hey. This is Dan Dobler. You can call me back. Uh huh. Show's over. We made it. I wasn't so sure today. Thanks, Dan. Did we try? Oh yeah, we did try to call him back. Nobody answered. Right. Twenty-two. Right, HWM.com. Check it out. Three six zero three six four three four. Call and leave a message. Get on TV. One hundred nine State Avenue, number three. Check it out. We're in Olympia, Washington. Nine five zero one. It's uh, Graham Graham. It's a good song. Thank you. TV, LeBebe, Jordi E. Fabulous, Graham Graham, Stop about a calm jump with Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. Viewers, I see you're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.